The bomb, the incendiary device, was thrown through the front plate glass window, either onto Ayana or close enough to her to burn her severely. Ayana's body was burned severely, and the family has asked me to have an autopsy conducted by Dr. Mark Spitz, Macomb County Medical Examiner, and that is taking place. I believe today. Virtually simultaneously with a bomb being thrown through the window onto Ayana, a shot is fired from outside on the porch into the home. The shot is unquestionably fired outside the home while the officer is standing on the porch. We know there's only one shot. It's vividly de depicted in the videotape. It is virtually simultaneously, but right after the, throat, the explosion of the bomb. And at that point, the officers rush into the home. You don't have to batter down that door because that door wasn't locked. So an examination of that door showed that the locks were intact, the casing was intact, the door frame was intact. Somebody simply opened the outside metal door, which was a metal screen, and kicked at the door and it immediately opened. Ayana was lying there lifeless. They grab her body virtually immediately and carry her out um, in a heart-rending fashion like a rag doll. And, and the videotape displays her being carried out virtually immediately upon the officers entering the home. For 15, five to 15 officers who know what happened. I'm asking that some of them have the ounce of the milk of human kindness to go forward to Chief Evans, go forward to your assistant chief, go forward to your eternal affairs and admit and tell them the truth about what happened.